Now, after we get done with all the, the chart macros and the fill-in-the-blank templates, one of the things I found people needed was a way to put all of their stuff together in one place. And so I created a couple of tools. There's an XMR, or Individuals Dashboard, and an Attribute Dashboard. Now, for most people, I think an XMR dashboard is, is going to be uh, adequate. Now, the, the idea here is you're going to have a data sheet, and you're going to put in a chart title here. And for those of you in, uh, in healthcare, you know, it might be patient sat, satisfaction, uh, nursing sat, or something like that. And you could put in column after column. Uh, or it could be uh, infection rates per thousand, falls per thousand, any, any kind of rates that you want to put in here, you could put in here. And then we have a couple of starter places. Uh, one's the XMR with an average for a center line. Uh, some people also need one with a median. And there's also just a plain run chart sitting out here. And so what we can do is as you click through these, what it will do is show you each one of those. And so I could click on the next button up over here. It'll take me to nursing sat, and the next button would take me to the blank page that's after that. But you can do 30, 60, 100 uh, metrics in here. Now, I always worry when people have 100, more than you know, 30 metrics, because usually they're measuring everything but not improving anything. And so I always worry about having too many metrics. So I'm going to encourage you that, you know, that be cautious about what you put on your dashboard. Now, once you have everything into your data sheet over here, you can actually click our Create Dashboard button, and it'll go out and start making copies of each one of these, these sheets and then putting the X chart onto a single sheet. So once, if you had 30 metrics, it would put up 30 metrics. If you had 60, it would put up 60. Right? And so this is a great way, once you've figured out what you want to track month to month, to build a dashboard. And so very quickly, you're going to end up, and it's going to say, no, nah, there's, there's nothing left out here. And it's going to stop and come back and say, OK, here's our patient sat, here's our nursing satisfaction. The next month, you come in, and let's say we did a, uh, we fell back to 78 on here, and we went up to an 89 on that one. If you say refresh charts, it'll go out and refresh all those, those data points and add the new one into your chart here. So that's a very simple and easy way to start to do all this tracking that's required, you know, from a healthcare standpoint of all these indicators. So I'm going to encourage you that the control chart dashboards are a great place to start. And let me give you an example, and we'll do that in, in Excel 2003 here. Close a few things out. Uh, so we come into here, you have to get back onto the, the main menu. Anytime you're clicked on a chart, you're going to get the QI Macros chart menu. But if you want to get out and go do something else, then you need to click out on cell, and this is what works on cells. And so you'll see there's a QI Macros control chart dashboard. And it looks very much the same. It'll have a data sheet. And in this case, you know, it could be uh, falls and 1,000 patient days, uh, C-sections over total deliveries, you know, anything where there's a numerator and a denominator. And then we can show them as a C-chart. Uh, if you had a fixed uh, denominator, you could use an NP-chart, which most people don't. Uh, we could use a P-chart. And so then what we want to do is we could go ahead and take all of these and click on the Create Dashboard button. And that would put all of our charts onto one sheet. So we could have C-section, patient falls, whatever you wanted to put all onto one sheet here. So this is a powerful way to start to organize your attribute and your, your variable data and keep track of it month to month. And you know, I think this is probably one of the most useful things that uh, is out there in terms of helping people manage all the data they have to deal with and turning it into charts.